Hi oh, guys, Lewis here. Um, I haven't done any reviews for a while because I haven't been to the cinema since last Tuesday, which is quite a long time for me. Um, the previous two movies I saw, um, I didn't really care about that much, so I didn't bother to talk about them. But I've just been to see... Sorry, my eyes itchy. I've just been to see uh, The Peanut Butter Falcon, which is a great title for a movie, and everyone I've mentioned it to has gone, what, what the hell is that? Um, but I've been looking forward to it for a while because I kept hearing little bits about it. And then the other day... I uh, I saw a trailer accidentally because it came up at the start of a YouTube video. I don't think I'd seen the trailer before for whatever reason, even though I was aware of the film. Um, and there was a line in the trailer that made me laugh so much that I stopped it and I thought, I don't want to spoil anything else uh, when I go and see the film. And I've, I I looked it up and there was a cinema near me that's playing it because it's quite a small film. Um, and I've just ventured along to see it. Um, yeah, it's a really, really enjoyable film. It's uh, The main actor is Shia LaBeouf, and he befriends a young man who has Down syndrome who's kind of uh, escaped from uh, the place where he lives, and his dream is to be a professional wrestler. And Shia LaBeouf has his own story going on. He's kind of on the run a little bit, and they kind of just go on a little journey together, and it's just about their friendship. Um, the thing that stood out to me the most, apart from it being a very nicely made film, like everything, it looks great. I think it's shot in Georgia. And it's set like sort of North Carolina and that kind of thing. So it's all very rural, very water based. Like, um, and it looks lovely and it sounds, sounds great as well. Great soundtrack and it all fits perfectly. Um, but the cast is really, really good. Like Shia LaBeouf and the young man, um, it's his debut role who has Down syndrome. I can't remember his name, but they're, they're both very good. Um, like it's funny and they're quite touching their performances as well. But uh, Dakota Johnson is the uh, the female lead in it, and she she's superb. I think she's really good, and she she's underappreciated. I think. Um, but then it's got little appearances from people like Bruce Dern and like uh, John Bernthal as well, who just seem to be John Bernthal seems to have a habit of being, despite being you know a reasonably like well known actor, he seems to pop up in films in quite small roles, and I like that he does that. Um, but yeah, the, the the whole cast is really good, and there's a lot of people. I recognise we couldn't quite place as well. But um, yeah, it was a nice little heartwarming film. I don't know how long it'll be in cinemas for because it's only quite a limited thing. But, you know, I, I I would recommend it. I think it's nice. Very good film. Yeah. Yeah. And Shia LaBeouf is great. I'm just going to say that now. He gets a lot of stick, but he's great. I like it when you see someone like Robert Pattinson has done who are quite known for a mainstream thing and then they just go off and do quite small films and then you kind of go, actually, they're really good. Um but yeah, I'm a big Shia LaBeouf guy. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much.